Hey there YouTube, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I am here today with a Once Upon a Book Club Young Adult Unboxing. This is going to be my last box with them for a while. I am still continuing with my bookish box, but I've decided that tuition is important and I need to pay it, so just put this on hold for a little bit and maybe resubscribe later. Before I get into the unboxing though, I do have something fun that I would like to tell you about. I have a wonderful, amazing cousin named Norlin, and she has started an Etsy shop and she um, is a very good artist. She's a single mom with a darling little boy and she's working to support him um, by selling these cute cards and, and things that she creates. And I am going to now insert a picture of my cousin first, and then a, a few pictures of some of the cards and things that she's made. The larger cards that you'll see in single photos are individual cards, and then she makes like sets of 15 Valentine's cards that go together. And she's also working on a collection of bookmarks. I'm not sure if they're up on her Etsy shop yet. But I'm going to go ahead and place those photos here, and I will link her Etsy shop in the space below if you would like to check those out and support a hardworking single mom. If you would like to see more of her stuff, again, click on the link in the space below and you can be taken to her shop. Okay, here we go with our unboxing. This is, as I said, the Once Upon a Book Club box. And usually what they do is send a book with different gifts that you're supposed to open as you read. Let's say you get to page 57 or whatever, there will be a sticky note that says open your gift. And in the past, I've just shown you the book and then waited till after I've read the book to show what the gifts are. But this time we're going to just open everything this time and dive in because I'm so busy. I don't know when I'm going to get to this book. So let's open up the box and see what we've got. Oh, a whole lot of crinkle crap. There we go. Hold on while I clean out the box. There are still some I had a little crinklies in the box, but I've got the bulk of it out of the way so that we can see the fun things. We will start with the book that is in the box. Maybe if I can pick it up correctly. It is Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez, I think is how you say her name. I've seen this kind of floating around on, on some of people's videos and other channels and on some blogs and things, and I don't remember what it's about, so give me one second to take a look. From what I can tell, this is a story based on Bolivian history or politics, loosely inspired by that anyway, which is interesting. And our main character is Chimena, and she is a decoy condesa, which I think is a Spanish word for contessa or countess. Um, anyway, she's a stand-in for this last remaining royal of her country, Illustria. And uh, Atok is this usurper who has these mas magical powers, like he used this ancient relic to summon ghosts and things and usurped the throne, I guess is what happened. And Chimena um, really wants revenge and she um, has this ability to spin thread from moonlight. And when Atok demands the real Condessa's hand in marriage, Chimena goes in her stead, um, intent on exacting her revenge, I'm sure. Will this be a situation where she falls in love with the guy or where she like really takes revenge on him? I do not know. I guess we'll find out as we read. So as for the items in the box, they sent us a quote card with artwork that matches the cover of the book. And it says, the stars we claimed, the stars for our own. Oh, the stars. We claimed the stars for our own. I like they do these little quote cards because that's fun to just have something to remind you of the book that came in the box. Alright, and then it looks like we've got three gift items, no, four gift items. And we will go in order of the way that you're supposed to open them as you read. So I'm not going to really know what they have to do with the book, but we'll look at them anyway. 
this first item you're supposed to open on page 95 and there's like interesting things here okay so there's this little pouch that's got some pins in it and hanger things so I'm guessing the rest of this is supposed to be um, hung up on the wall somewhere is it going to be a tapestry oh this is going to be big hang on What in the world is this? It's massive. Can you see the moon? Isn't it lovely? I'm not sure if this is upside down or not. It looks like it's just a great big tapestry print that, um, has some sky related things on it and I'm sure I'll find out more about that when I read the book how am I gonna fold that back up again <laughs> we'll worry about that later next we're supposed to open this um, item for page 194 and it comes in this super cute pouch with this bird on it and it's a, a heavy-duty fabric pouch which means it's reusable which is awesome and there's quite a large bottle in here. Oh my goodness. This is lavender bath salts. It's called Moon Dust. Oh, add four to six tablespoons to running bath water. Soak and enjoy. Of course we have to sniff it. Ooh, that's really nice. I can smell the lavender, but there's also a hint of citrusy scent in there. Hmm. Interesting. And I like how the artwork here matches the artwork on the tapestry which in turn matches the book it's just everything's so matchy matchy that's cute I can't believe that massive size of the bath salts that's amazing okay next we have something uh, for page 275 and this is an envelope so I'm guessing there's gonna be some kind of paper replica in here hmm We've got some pretty heavy duty cardstock with this print of a flower or plant of some kind, which I'm guessing is going to be important to the story. And it's called Kilasisa Argenti. Okay. Maybe that's going to have something to do with the magical powers that are being used in the story. And then lastly, we have this cutie little box that is, goes with page 350, and I believe those are little foxes on the box, which is quite darling. I'll give this little tape a cut here. Oh! I'm clumsy. I did not drop it on the floor. It just kind of spilled out of the box. We have a card that says the Estrella, Estrella is the Spanish word for star, so I'm guessing the Estrella is like maybe it's the name of a vessel or something? I'm not sure. And we have this bracelet, which has got this shiny sparkly bit in the center with silver pieces and then chains to connect. That's kind of cute. I don't know that it's big enough for my fat wrists. Oh, yeah, I, I think if I have very good finger strength, I can get it to clip there, but, huh, cute. Nice. I'm really intrigued by the fact that the book is um, based on Bolivian history and politics. I don't know very much about Bolivia at all. Um, don't know anyone that's been to Bolivia. I, I know people who have been to Chile and Brazil and other places in South America but in Central America but not uh, Bolivia so I will learn I suppose all right that was a great box um I'm super bummed that I didn't renew my subscription but I am probably going to in the future hopefully the near future but I will still definitely have more unboxings because, like I said, I'll be continuing at the Bookish Box. I have one more Alcrate coming, 
and yeah, we'll just see how long I hold out. Anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful and bookish day. Once again, I'd encourage you to please check out my cousin's Etsy shop if you have any needs for cute cards. They're super darling. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy reading. Adios.